December 2013, a rainwater tank moulding facility was officially opened in Niue. It was funded by a pool of donor resources from the regional agencies GEF, AusAid, GCCA, European Union. It was the first of its kind in Niue. I think the biggest challenge that we found out during this whole exercise is getting GEF, AusAid and GCCA, European Union to actually talk to each other. And that, uh, that takes us quite some time to actually do that. And a lot of convincing that uh, this is a bad idea, particularly for small island countries that uh, have little capacity. Access to water was identified during community consultations as one of the major problems during periods of severe climatic effects on the island, such as drought or cyclones. In the past, most families had cement water tanks, but these were hard to maintain over time. Community consultations indicated very few of these cement tanks were still in use. The new rainwater tanks are built to New Zealand and Australian standards with greater water capacity, efficiency and easier maintenance. The moulding process um, involves um, the bags of powder. That powder is placed inside the moulds, which is then heated using the rock and roller machine. Gas is used to heat the uh, rock and roller machine in the moulds. The process, depending on the type of powder, takes between 45 to an hour before it is placed on the cooling bay for another hour to reduce the heat so that it can be taken out of the moulds. Once it's taken out of the moulds, manholes are drilled at the top as well as the outlets at the bottom. A piece of the tank is taken from the manhole that was cut off to carry out the impact test. That's to determine if the tank is of good quality. Other tests involved is the use of ultrasound to determine the different thickness meets those criteria. The project also provides for cement bases to be built at homes that already have existing roof gutters and spouting. Other households were encouraged to get their gutters fixed before the new tanks can be installed. We provide all the materials and the cement, but the contractor supplies the labour. For each contractor, they always set up four different bases for each household so that it can match one truckload. All the contractors they were using have their own tools, but we also provide tools that they don't have or don't come across, like for example, the jackhammer. I was just working smarter and listening to some of the experiences the contractors and supervisors have, uh, have told us. I think the, the message that came through on the region now is that uh, mainstreaming uh, in terms of programs, we thought that that could be a, a bad idea of getting them to work together on one issue. Now we are able to actually cover all the communities. I think everybody's going to be happy because at the beginning there was some uproar in some community why certain communities were selected and why certain communities were left out. But I think uh, at the end of the day, I think we were able to keep everybody happy. Uh, I think it's, it's, it's a very good project, very good project, very beneficial. Ever since it was um, installed, we've been using it all the time. It's our main source of water because our water boy is not up and running yet. So it's a very big help for us. We've already had experience uh, with, with the power outage. Um, it affects our hydroponics as well as our uh, water supply inside. It's very much appreciated that uh, you don't have to wait for something else or go elsewhere, but the, the, the stock is here. Since it was opened, the tank moulding facility has successfully completed the moulding of 472 rainwater harvesting tanks, covering the majority of 420 households in Niue that were identified at the time of the project's commencement. This also includes 52 out of the extra 100 tanks that are to be made for those owners who wanted additional water tanks. There have been some setbacks with approximately 40% of households yet to install their own gathering and weather hampering the construction process of cement bases. However, the project is well on track to be successfully completed by the end of 2015. For such a small island, this is a great achievement. These are major, major projects. And sometimes you need to wonder, how do we achieve it with such a small number of people? And I think you said it, you pointed out to us the fact that some people here are very smart. They're able to combine three activities into one. This has not been an easy thing to do, and many of you will appreciate the fact that this is exactly what the government is trying to do at this moment, to be smart about what we do, 
with the resources that are made available to us. We all talk about donor collaboration, uh, but sometimes it's so hard to make it happen and sometimes it falls to the country, as it has here, to actually make that happen. And it's all due to the hard work of um, government and others here in Niue, who first of all had the idea to make that happen, instead of three separate projects, let's do one properly and cover every household in Niue. Um, and uh, I think this is just uh, an example that we need to show to the rest of the Pacific for several years ahead, that it can be done. Basically, I would like to say uh, thank you to the donor agency, particularly the Global Environment Facilities. Um, OSAID, I think OSAID have came in in a very crucial time, and I think it's a, a, a tribute to, to them to actually support this project, and also European Union through the GCCA project at SPC. I think that uh, the three put together have, uh, have given the people here um, an excellent uh, uh, gift for them in terms of adaptation uh, to uh, climate change and I also would like the community here to value the contribution made by the international community. Uh, it's not that every day uh, something like this uh, came uh, across our backyard and just to make sure that we look after the, the water tanks and actually use them uh, for the purpose that were given to us. And uh, I think the community will probably thank uh, the donors for, for that valuable uh, contribution.